G'day guys, uh, what I want to talk to you about is content management systems and the best way to have all your employees, every one of your employees working. Now the typical approach is to have a nice content management system and there's a lot out there. Um, the biggest one is WordPress. Uh, WordPress is the most common one and you press edit and you make your changes and you press save and it goes live. Now, uh, other you know other ones are SharePoint is big in, in uh, a lot of enterprise companies, and Confluence is also big. And it's um, more wiki like. Now, um, GitHub, in my mind, is the best way to have the back end. Now, lots of good ideas come from developers, and developers write code. They check it into GitHub, and it is the way that you have a second pair of eyes check it before the code goes live so you, what you do is you submit a suggestion which they call a pull request the other person receives it and goes oh i like that change and they they accept it so um for example this is a very good um, example ssw people which you can get the source code on github um, it has a nice ui here but if and you can click on any of these people okay you can click on me and you can come through and if you want to make any changes, you can press edit. And that edit button will take you over to GitHub. All right, so that's the guts of that. Now, this, this profile page has a nice little quote and some you know, skills coming in here from, in this case, Dynamic CRM or your other systems. Um, you can do it even better, such as Matt. Matt um, you know, puts a nice big image of, his, uh, of a video on YouTube. Okay. Now, um, he also has some nice videos here. Um, now, William, he's gone and put a lot of badges on, and um, he also has uh, a little button. Hi, my name is William Liebenberg, and I'm an SSW solution architect. I specialize in building enterprise. So it goes on, and he talks about himself, and it's quite nice. It's a great way to get to know him very quickly. Um, he also has um, uh, you know, a whole scroll set of, of images that he has. Um, now, Jason, let's, let's look at him. Jason, now I'll, 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 I'll pull out something. Obviously, he's got his upcoming talks as well. Here's my favorite thing, the GitHub contributions. Now, this is the code that he submitted to GitHub. Now, this is typically, I'll click on the link. This is typically the code that he has developed, but every single employee at an organization can have the same thing if they're making changes um, with a GitHub backend, and that's what I'm proposing here. So this is what you don't want to be doing. You don't want to be sending it, seeing a problem on a website and sending an email that says, hey, Jason, to improve your profile, let's change X to Y and you know you can, you can accept it. It's a very easy way, like you give them you know, a suggestion of what it is and how you could improve it, but that is a very bad way of doing it. Um, a much better way is uh, pressing edit, making the changes and it goes to Jason uh, with the better wording and he can accept it or reject it. So that is the way to go forward. Um, what, what you should do is store your, your um, you know, Jason's profile in Markdown, not in HTML. HTML is a mess. You can put CSS, it's very hard to maintain. Markdown is simple, all right? And that's what you should be doing. Now, let me just uh, quickly, um, uh, you will start seeing your GitHub stats grow. You can put a nice little introduction to yourself on GitHub if you make a readme of your name. So you make a you make a read uh, you know a, a markdown file. So you go into repositories, you create one for the same name, and here is another example of that working. There's um, Matt Wicks, and you know a little bit about him very quickly. Now. Uh, this is, for example, the people profile, and every person in every company should know um, this one. So this is, just explains how this people page works and how it has six awesome widgets and how that works. But the most important thing of all this is the one page here called Quick Edits. Everyone should be able to uh, come in here and instead of seeing an email that says change X to Y, they press edit and they press edit. And then they scroll down and they, uh, they press the pencil button and then they make their changes in Markdown. Then they make a little comment such as fixed typo or uh, suggestion to make your profile read better. Then they, they press commit changes. Then they look over it. They make some others and they press commit changes. They look over it and they press commit changes. And when they're finished giving all the little suggestions, 
they then create a pull request. Now, terrible name I know, but just think of it as I give Jason my suggestion. I come through and then I can monitor that forever. I can, I will initially see it's open, it's gone to Jason, it's got crosses until he accepts it. And once he's accepted it, they will go green and there's no emails are sent, everything is done and it's very simple. Cheers.